About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, wow, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Just don't want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. One quarter remains here in the Super Bowl. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now here on EA Sports. It's the Cowboys with a the football. They'll be looking to tack on to their lead as we get set for the fourth. Second and nine. He'll look to throw. And this one complete to Witten over the middle. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. Well, that should be a reminder defensively, and I think it's a reminder to myself because you just can't sell out to stop the run. There's still enough time that this offense can move the football through the air, even on first and second downs. And they obviously picked the right spot to throw the ball there. On first down, he'll drop to throw. Over the middle complete. It's Johnston. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. And the big guy catches the ball out of the backfield. And oftentimes, it's quite a surprise to the guys playing defense because not ordinarily thought as a pass catcher, it often works when they decide to dial it up. Second and six. And his throw is incomplete. I didn't like the look of that play right from the beginning. I thought he should have seen the coverage that was there, tried to force it in. That one, he's fortunate, just fell incomplete. The Cowboys on third down. Two for five to this point. This will be third and six. Again, he'll drop to throw. Throw left side complete. That's Pearson. And he will have a Cowboys first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Yeah. Just sit on it here because they had to throw the ball third down. Got the big completion in the pickup. Fresh set of downs now. They've got to feel great. And defensively a backbreaker. So a first and ten now in Denver territory at the 39-yard line. Back to throw again. And this is going to be caught, but they'll say out of bounds. So it's incomplete. By the way, I got to apologize because I just realized for about the last four or five plays, I'm eking over into your territory up here in the booth. My bad. I'm going to get back over to my spot. Yeah, we're not talking about our on-air commentary. I mean, what is all this extra paper? I mean, this is unusual I know. for you. My bad. Normally, you run a really tight ship. What's going on here? Just like that incomplete pass, I'm going to try to tighten things up here for this next play. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. That might feel like a little bit of a lost opportunity there for the offense because the defense brought pressure that time. And sometimes against that, you can get out to your running back, and it can turn into a big game downfield. What a nice job they did getting to him quickly and holding him to a short game. On third down, he'll drop to throw. And that is incomplete. Oh, he had a defender right there with him to force that to the ground. And fourth down now coming up. This has certainly been a physical game so far. Limited scoring opportunities for both sides. And there's another chance that goes unfulfilled. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. From the right hash, this from 53. And his kick is absolutely perfect. And they push the lead up to a touchdown now at 10 to 3. 
So they hadn't called on him at all until this point, but he comes through here and buries one from long range. Yeah, that's awfully impressive because usually kickers like to get that first one out of their system in the first quarter, sort of get them into the floor of the game, but to come in this late and knock it down from long distance, give him a lot of credit. Now after the field goal, Bailey will kick it away. Johnson won't return this, and the football will come out to the 25. Now the Broncos offense, they get set to head back onto the field. And it's quickly becoming now or never time in the Super Bowl, trailing by seven here in the fourth. A pivotal, pivotal moment in this football game. down. Morton looking long for Thomas. He's got a man complete. Touchdown Broncos. A great play there. 75 yards. And the Broncos are an extra point away from tying up this Super Bowl. And that looked almost to be a case of, you know, a quarterback saying, hey, I'm going to throw this as far as I can and hope you run under it. Mission accomplished. And I'm telling you, nothing will light up a crowd more than a play like that. Here in the stadium, all eyes were on the receivers streaking down the field. And you know, everyone was thinking, throw it, he's open. What a connection there for the touchdown. Don't forget the extra point. It's up and good. And we are tied here in the fourth quarter. One of the shortest drives you'll ever see. One play, 75 yards, six points. set for this next drive and this Super Bowl has been as good as advertised probably one of the best that we've seen in recent memory all even here in this fourth quarter Seven yard line. Well, we 
say it often, Charles, but not all interceptions are created equally, and that is a big one here in a tie ball game in the fourth quarter. And Brandon, when games are this close, it usually comes down to the team making the fewest mistakes, and that was one of our mantras back at Tennessee. Coach Major you say all the time, the team making the fewest mistakes will win. You've got to cut those down to give yourself an opportunity. The Broncos onto the field, ready to start their next drive. And the question, can they turn that interception into points? A tie game for the moment in the fourth quarter. And he'll be taken down at the 46-yard line. It'll be a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll make it second and a foot or so. Right now, I remember a coaching friend of mine used to tell his running backs before games, make sure you run and jog with your offensive line in pregame. Get used to the ground shaking with those big behemoths starting to create space for you up front. He did a pretty good job of just following those guys through there for a nice explosive run. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. 45 yards on the ground for him now as he's done that on 15 carries. And that's a nice pickup of a first down on that second down run. And at that yardage gained, they can run that plan any down. On first and 10, Morton. And oh, that nearly their first pick of the game, but it falls down to the ground incomplete. Well, he did almost everything right. Excellent coverage, breaks on the football, just unable to haul it in and take it the other way. So he dropped an interception. The key for him now, don't dwell on it. Just move on to the next play. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. Hands it off out of the gun. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. No gain on that one as it brings up a third and ten. His carries tonight, they're getting up there, so maybe one of those every now and then is understandable. I would agree with that. Understandable every now and then. Sometimes you come back and you fake it to him and go play action. But other times you say, okay, they got him on that one. We'll come back to him in another carry. Throw left side. McCaffrey's got it. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the third. And that's how you pick up a first down. Not only does he make the catch, but has enough body control to get his feet down inbounds, toe tapping, and drag it to make sure he gets it done. And this will probably be the final play before the two minute warning. Play action. Morton. And Thomas has it. And they'll get this down to the 10. So it's Bronco football as we get your reset here. They've got a first down in field goal range already. A first down carry for Davis. And running room hard to come by here. He gets it down to the eight. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. But they picked up a little bit of yardage there. And now, in this situation, should be in no hurry to run a play really fast. Let the clock wind down. Second down and eight. From the gun, he'll hand this on. A nice display of power, but it only takes him to the seven. He's dropped there. Now the Cowboys going to burn the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. This will be the eighth play of the drive. It's third and seven. They'll keep it on the ground. Little. And they'll get him down here at about the five-yard line. 
Dallas Cowboys going to use their second timeout now as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. So now one of the biggest kicks of the night is forthcoming. This for the lead in the final stages. And his kick is good. And with a little over a minute to play, they have taken the lead. Big kick right there to give them the lead in the fourth, but there is still time left for a final drive. Did they score too soon? Post game will tell us, right? Depending on what happens on this drive, that's how we'll analyze it. If the other team scores, they scored too soon. If they somehow hold on, they manage the clock exactly right. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. So now the Cowboys down 13-10, a minute 16 remaining. They need at least a field goal to send this Super Bowl to overtime as they come up on first down. Shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. Over the middle, Dorsett. And he's brought down at the 24 after a gain of four. They drive some people crazy to see those short throws underneath. They've got to find a way to gash the defense downfield. The Cowboys looking to get going again in a hurry. Back to throw. And on the left sideline, he caught it, but out of bounds, according to the headlinesman. Incomplete, so the ball a little late getting there, and it's third down. Referee's been buzzed. Yeah, they want to take another look at this call, and it's certainly a big one here. Late in a tight game. Did he keep those feet in bounds? That's the question they've got to decide. And I, I got to say, watching it in real time, it was awful close. Yeah, it certainly looked like a heck of a catch because he didn't appear to bobble it, which could complicate things. But even with the benefit of replay, that's pretty tight. Well, here's the call. So the officials and the folks in New York got a second look at this one, and the call is going to be overturned. Back to throw. He finds his man complete. That's Harper. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. Gosh, given the time in the short game, would he have been better off just dropping that? Yeah, when you look at the clock, you think so. But it's hard to get a receiver to drop the football. They're trained to catch everything. Now you've got to hustle your guys to the line and get them set. He'll look to throw. Looking left side, he's got it. Complete. And this is going to be another first down as they'll make the tackle at the Broncos' 34-yard line. The Cowboys signal for their third and final timeout as they'll stop it with 11 seconds remaining in the ball game. And for the second time tonight, this field goal unit comes out here. This to potentially send us to overtime. Now the Broncos are going to call the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. And for the second time tonight, this field goal unit comes out here. 
This could potentially send us to overtime. And his kick is right there. It's good. And they will tie this game here in the final seconds. So a money kick there in the final seconds. And now, barring any hijinks on the kickoff here, partner, I think you and I, we're going to settle in for a little overtime. And I wouldn't have it any other way. This has been a dogfight all through regulation. No reason to think it won't continue in the extra period. Turning it, Johnson. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. It's Little, and he'll be corralled right around the 34. And we've got free football, four quarters done, and we're dead even. We'll have overtime after this timeout. Overtime in a playoff game, awesome setup. Remember, the rules are the same as they would be in the regular season. That's exactly right, Brandon. Remember, the receiving team, if they score a touchdown, game is over. But if they kick a field goal or don't score, the other team gets a chance to get the football. They get a possession. If they go down and score, they win the football game at that point. If both teams kick field goals, we keep playing. If a defense scores, let's say the receiving team gets the ball, doesn't score, or they throw a pick six or fumble, gets picked up, the defense scores, game over. But here's the best part. In the regular season, only one period is played. We could call it a tie. Here, we're going to play until we have a winner. Fielded just outside the goal line. And some good special teams coverage as they bring him down just outside of the 15. Next drive by the Cowboys offense. They're set for their first drive here in overtime. And this is where the crowd can really become a factor. They've had to battle it all day, but I know what you're saying. In overtime, that gets doubled, doesn't it? At least because now the crowd really wants to be involved and help their team. And that first drive can dictate the whole thing because they know if this team takes it downfield and scores a touchdown, it's game over. It's been loud in here so far. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Now Dorsett gets past one man. He'll be dropped at the 25 after a gain of six. Frustrating for a defense, energizing for an offense. Finding a way to create that type of yardage in your running game, that'll make the guys carrying the ball very, very happy. some extra beef up front. They've got to have this one in overtime. It's third and one. They'll run. It's Dorsett. And he's going to have the first down yardage as he's down at about the 30-yard line. Both hard to know these runs individually have added up to a whole lot. Now three plays, all three short runs, but together a first down. Yeah, it's amazing how the narrative changes when you string them together. and 10 now from the 30. Now a first throw here in overtime. And this is caught by Witten, the tight end. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 
Charles, you get into these overtime situations, that's not a bad guy to dial into. Well, when you have to have plays, especially in a spot as you just described, we're at OT, you've got to go to the guys you can trust and you know are going to make the plays. Well, they say it's not the X's and the O's, it's the Jimmy's and the Joe's. Couple of first downs to kick off the drive. Here's first and 10 up at the 46. They'll run the draw with Dorsett. And this time they were waiting for him as he'll be knocked down before he can get back to the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, second and 12. When a draw works, it can be a thing of beauty. But when it doesn't, oh, it can be ugly. And in this case, loss of yardage ugly. Chain, second and 12. On the toss, it's Dorsett. And he's able to get this to the 40-yard line before he's out of bounds. 60 yards rushing for him now as he is just trying to win his guys to an overtime victory. Oh, this is a pretty good drive they're putting together. And I don't know if I'm on the other sideline. That offense, kind of helpless, isn't it? Because they may not touch the football at all. Because if they go down and score a touchdown, this thing's over. Absolutely. That would write an ending to this script. We'll see what happens. Show a first and 10 now in Denver territory, right at the 40. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he gets this to the 35. Good for a gain of five. They've had some success here in overtime in this opening drive running the football. Right back to that well. And why not? When you have that kind of success, make them stop you. And until they do, keep going back to that well you just spoke about. I think there's more water there and available to them. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. The Broncos say they have it. They do. And a costly, costly mistake. Coaches talk so much about ball security and in overtime so paramount. Partner, do you ever wonder if maybe they talk about it too much? Too much, yeah. It doesn't seem like you can, but maybe by discussing it time and time again, and you know they overemphasized it here. It almost became self-fulfilling. And any points beat them here. Field goal or a touchdown now. Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 at the 45. Following the fumble recovery, Morton. First down and more for Jackson. And he'll get this down to the 39-yard line. Well, that was a fun one to watch right there. A nice in-breaking route. And plenty of room in the middle of the field. And he was able to get behind the linebackers and grab the completion for a really good pickup. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. And here's a handoff out of the gun. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. When we talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. Now a second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. Coverage was very good that time. A nice job to smother him as the ball arrived, and that ensured an incomplete pass. And it keeps six points off the board. An incomplete pass on second down. That muddles things a little bit here. This is third and ten. Looking to throw. Morton. Shifts by him. And they're able to get this one past the 30 to the 25-yard line. One of my old teammates called me the other day when he was watching the game. He said, man, trying to watch an NFL game and trying to count for their passing game, that's difficult. And just when you think you get everything covered, here comes a back out of the backfield. And in this case, he picks up the first down.
throwing on first down. Morton. But it's caught on the right side of Smith. Seven yards to pick up there. When you see zone defense, and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call. You got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. Second down and three. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Looking left side and completing it to Thomas. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. Well, right now, every little bit of yardage helps. So they're, they're obviously well within his range. It's just about keeping the football and getting in the right spot. Know your kicker. Get, as you've mentioned, get it to the right spot, the place that he wants to kick it from. And if you do decide to throw the football, it either goes to your team or no one. It's the only kind of throw you make. And he will have the first down inside the 10 to the 9-yard line. 67 yards rushing for him now as he's toted it 21 times. Now another timeout called for by the offense. They'll be left with just one remaining here at OT. like Jackson who's shaken up. While the training staff takes a peek, we'll take a break. Second and goal from the one. They'll try to punch it in with Davis. And he's into the end zone. Move over, James White. You've got a new rival for best finish to a Super Bowl ever. We need an extra time to decide this one. The rushing score and OT finishes it off. But all throughout, really just a great game to watch. I agree. And, and the whole time we were watching and, and, and working on this game, I had it in the back of my head. We could get to overtime. Just the way this game went, the ebb and flow of it all. And then to get there and finish it, what I would call old school way, a running play. Because in today's NFL, we throw the ball to ring the bell, don't we? <laughs> Not there. They ran it in. And again, just a great, great game that we bore witness to. And the Lombardi Trophy goes west. And it goes to the Denver Broncos, your Super Bowl champs. And to the Super Bowl champions, they etch their name forever in NFL immortality. That's pretty phenomenal right there. It actually gave me chills just to hear you say that because immortality forever and ever. When you look in the record books, you'll see this team, you'll see their picture, that your name will be a part of it. That's got to be an incredible feeling because it's been a long journey to get there, and now they get a chance to enjoy it.